Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We serve a God who speaks, he's living. His words have consequences. When he speaks, he communicates. When he speaks, he creates. When he speaks, there is transformation. And when God speaks, there is also healing and change. Um, so these happen when God releases his words. And he has created us in his image. So we, have, we as his creation, when we speak our words, they have consequences also. So I just want to ask us this question, what about our words? Have we thought about the words that we release? Now, the book of Proverbs has wisdom about how we need to use our words, choose our words. Uh, I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 12, verses 18 and 19. It says, There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. So he's talking about there's one who speaks or pronounces or babbles like the piercings of a sword. So it's like a sword which cuts, it's like, the, it's like a sword which wounds. And the words are like that. The words which come out of such a person, uh, the pronouncements which come out of such a person, it wounds, it cuts, it, it cuts down and it destroys. It's like the piercings of a sword. Um, painful. So the question is, are we such people who speak such words? Are our words like the piercings of a sword? Scripture also says that the tongue of the wise promotes health. There is one who speaks like the piercings of the sword, but the tongue of the wise, the words of the wise, the communication of the wise, meaning the one who is artful, skillful, learned and intelligent. It promotes health. It brings forth a cure or a remedy or wholesomeness. So which category do we want to fall into? Are we like the one who speaks like this piercings of the sword? Or are we promoting health, bringing about healing with just the words of our mouth? The other thing is that the truthful lip, verse 19 says, truthful lips shall be established forever. Obviously, it's talking about the person who speaks the truth. The person who speaks the truth will be established forever. And the word there established means to make firm, to stand erect, will be uh, made strong. It will be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. Now, one who speaks lies maybe for that moment, there could be uh, a victory or there could be uh, an advantage for that moment, for that person. Maybe that person could get a benefit for that moment. But in the long run, there is no establishing or making firm. That comes only from a person who speaks the truth. Now, this instruction we have in God's word for us to follow today and to experience the power of his promise. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've called us to promote health. You've called us to speak edifying words, words that cure, words that, uh, words that bring healing, because those are the kind of words that you release, God. You sent your word and you healed every disease. And Father, we thank you that you've called us to be such people and Lord, thank you for reminding us today that, that a lying tongue is just for a moment. There could be a benefit for the moment, but a truthful lip shall be established forever. We thank you, Father God, for instructing us. We thank you for inviting us to live in such a manner. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.